Have you ever stopped to think about the importance of funeral music? Have you ever sat in a chapel and listened to a song and you're like, I haven't heard this before, or I've heard this a thousand times, or this song's terrible, or my gosh, this song is sad. Have you ever found yourself crying or moved to almost cry that lump in your throat at a funeral for somebody who's like a relative of a relative, or maybe you just went to pay respects to the person that you used to work with 10 years ago? You get what I'm saying. I'm Nathan, musician. I spent 13 years in the funeral profession. I get music. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to click the bell to be notified because music is so important. Everybody's like, why Why does the song always have to be so sad? Let's, let's talk about music and funerals. Misconceptions, they're everywhere, specifically about funerals and funeral music. Funeral homes are terrible. Funeral homes are dreaded. <laughs> they're not. Music is so impactful. It's like the soundtrack of our lives. As cliche as it sounds, you're in the car and you're driving to work, you're pissed off. You're going to play music that is comparable to the mood in which you are feeling. Or maybe you are the glass half full kind of person. And if you're not in a great mood, you're going to play uplifting music. I find myself listening to Carrie Joby all the time whenever I'm like, man, I'm feeling kind of heavy. That is the power of music. When you walk into funeral homes, you probably don't recognize it most of the time, but they are probably playing music. Listen next time you go in there. And the reason they do that is to create an atmosphere that is soothing. Have you ever gone to a spa on vacation, going to get a little rub down and a masseuse and your feet all pretty? They're playing music that is coinciding with the vibe of the place in space. You're going to walk into a place, you want to be relaxed. People say, why does funeral music have to be so sad? It's a sad time. It's a very sad time. Why do funeral songs have to be so sad? Well, read the room, people. The, the funeral home is, is filled with sadness. It's filled with hope. It's filled with reflection and remembrance. But yes, it's very somber. And that is what most funeral songs that people select are too. They are somber. That is what has inspired me is all of my working alongside with so many incredible people and what I've been exposed to. The songs that I write that are streaming on Spotify and Apple Music, those are songs that are somber and thought, maybe reflective, maybe uplifting and hopeful. And that is what you're going to find in funeral music. And it's kind of a niche niche. A niche, if you will, the music that is played at funerals. You are going to have a lot of Amazing Grace and Go Rest High and When I Get Where I'm Going and In the Garden. Alan Jackson particularly has a funeral record. It's it's hymns, if you will. It's old traditional hymns that are played for forever. Elvis Presley, he has tons of songs that are played. Carrie Underwood, there's this niche of songs that are the go-tos and i'm always challenging funeral professionals and you even if you are not in the profession think outside of the box like where were you when this very special and profound thing happened with someone that you love that you are now remembering and reflecting upon it the one that you're part of celebrating the one that you're part of creating the celebration think of a moment think of a song in that moment think of a song that makes you think of the loved one and that song could be a perfect song. And you might think that song won't fit. Well, it probably will. If you reflect upon it, and when it falls upon the ears of other people, they too reflect upon it. They're like, wow, that's touching. That's moving. Some people will be funny about the song that they select, Highway to Hell, or let me know in the comments a song that you've heard that you would be like, mm, I wouldn't play that, or vice versa. What would be a song that you would love to play? Think of being in the chapel. Let's go back to what I asked in the very beginning of this video. And if you made it this far, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I release content exclusive right here to YouTube. Do you remember the song at the funeral that you went to last? Do you remember a song that played? Music has this way of changing an entire place in space. It becomes a holy place, whether you worship or reflect or meditate or maybe none of those, but it takes a new persona, the environment, because of the music that is selected and that is playing. There's an intentionality behind it. And when people are writing songs for funerals, or if you're thinking about what song do I want, I think about the Marine that we served. I think about his brothers and sisters as they sat in the pews in their military uniforms and they listen to the song by Lee Bryce, I Drive Your Truck. Now I've heard Lee Bryce's I Drive Your Truck. I've heard it a hundred times on the radio. I have. In that moment, even knowing the song would be selected, even knowing the order of service, 
playing that song in the chapel filled with our men and women in the United States military serving the loved one, the family and friends who were there and gathered to remember and honor took on this characteristic and beautiful characteristic at that. I was so moved. And it wasn't the hundred times previous that I'd heard it. It wasn't the Lee Bryce, I drive your truck on the radio driving down the road anymore. It was a brand new song. It was a moving piece. It was a piece that allowed me to reflect upon all those that I love. It allowed me to reflect upon that moment that I was in and the importance of my job and all the people whose butts filled that pew, maybe the importance of their role in the loved one's life or the loved one's importance to them. It allowed us as a community without even speaking to become even more unified. And that, my friends, is the power of music, yes, but the selection of music for a funeral. Think outside of the box. It is great to have suggestions. It's great to say, oh, well, I went to this funeral and I heard Carrie Underwood's Ave Maria. That's great. Maybe you want to play it. Awesome. But I played The Killers here with me for my late grandfather's funeral. The song lyrics say, don't want your pictures on my cell phone. I want you here with me. I do. I still do. And he died in 2013. I want him here. And that song in that moment was perfect for my grandfather's memorial. Think about the songs that are in your playlist. Maybe just because they're not spiritual based. Maybe they're not a Christian artist. Maybe they're not this or that. Does not mean that they cannot be super impactful and moving. That is the power of music because it's able to breach ethnicities breach social economic classes you get what i'm saying music has the power to connect the funeral home is a beautiful place to connect all those people and the loved one which you're celebrating has is absolutely worthy to be celebrated and that is why i write the songs that i write because i believe that everyone's worthy to be loved and cared for and i write songs like lost without you or my song yet about that last moment surrounding the casket of one you love more than anything or my song last time like if this was your last moment on this side of life with your loved one, what would you do with that time? Those are the songs that I hope one day will fill the airwaves of the chapels across the world. Maybe now as people say, I want to play that song by Nathan Morris or insert artist name because it gives me the feels. No, funeral songs don't have to be sad. Mm -mm, they don't. But read the room. It's a somber time. It's a reflective time. You go to the spa, you get rubbed down, you got some nice waterfalls, you go to the funeral home, you have some reflection. Thanks for being here. Let me know in the comments below your favorite song, what you want me to cover next time, and be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and I will see you at the next video. Music, it has the power to move.